Hey, hey, it's me, Diggity Dan K, and I'm back with another video. And today I have a riddle for you. What type of room has no windows or doors? If you know the answer, let me know down in the comments. In the meantime, we're going to be building some of nature's most interesting life forms. Fungi. More specifically, we're going to be building some custom mushrooms and learning a thing or two about some real world mushrooms in the process. So stick around because we're about to have a fun time with fungi. I know I'm usually a fun guy, but I should warn you that eating wild mushrooms is not safe unless you really, really know what you're looking for. There are too many poisonous species of mushrooms to list, and many of them look very similar to safe, edible mushrooms. Do not eat any mushrooms that you find in the wild unless you are absolutely certain you know what you're looking for. The first mushroom we'll be building is commonly referred to as fly agaric. This is a poisonous mushroom that you definitely shouldn't eat raw. But what a pretty mushroom! Fly agaric is a fairly well-known mushroom, often being depicted in fantasy artwork and the Mario video games. These shrooms get their name because they are an effective insecticide when sprinkled in milk. We start just like we would with a tree, by building up the stem. Remember, nature is rarely perfectly straight, so be sure to give the stem a bit of a wobble. We can use these brown mushroom blocks to look like the spore gills on the underside of the mushroom cap. We'll then use these red mushroom blocks to build up the red and white caps that fly agaric is known for. We'll build the first cap high and oblong shaped with a pointy tip. Mushrooms often grow together in clusters, so we can add another mushroom at the base of the main stem. We'll just branch a stem off, leaning away from the first cap. We'll then top off this stem with another cap. This mushroom cluster will have three caps, each branching off from the main stem. We'll add a smaller cap on this mushroom, and our fly agaric is complete. Number two on our list is the common brown hay mushroom, or Penelis phonocesii. These are extremely common, mildly poisonous mushrooms that you might find in your yard. These are very simple to build as the stems are long and narrow and the caps are rather small. We can build three brown hay mushrooms rather quickly, as you can see here. The third mushroom that we'll be building is an interesting looking species known as the brain mushroom, or Gyromitra esculenta. These are extremely poisonous if eaten raw and can be fatal in high enough doses. These mushrooms have thick straight stems with a large oblong cap that kind of looks like a brain. The caps have deep ridges which can be simulated using netherrack blocks. By building up in an oblong shape, we can get a good idea for how the cap should look. This wasn't large enough, so I just kept building the cap up until I was happy with its size. I then added more ridges before calling this mushroom finished. What a strange, beautiful mushroom. Copernopsis atramentaria, or the ink cap mushroom. Edible, so long as they're not consumed along with alcohol. They're so weird looking, but also kind of beautiful. Ink caps get their name from an inky looking enzyme, which they produce as a means of reproduction. Ink caps have long straight stems and an umbrella shaped cap. We can create this shape by building a concentric ring pattern around the outside of the mushroom cap. We can create a light to dark gradient using wool blocks and complete the inky look using mud.
Finally, the enzyme that the ant cat produces has a tendency to drip off the mushroom when it gets wet. We can create this effect by adding mud blocks hanging off the edge of the cap of the mushroom. A little messy looking, but still beautiful in its own way. Last, but certainly not least, we are going to build the stunningly beautiful indigo milk cat. These beauties are edible, but I'd rather just look at them. The indigo milk cap has a gorgeous light blue stem and cap with brilliant blue gills on the underside. For the stem, we'll be using a mix of blue and packed ice. We'll use blue wool for the gills, which we'll build out in a rounded shape. And we'll add the cap using light blue wool. We want the cap to be flat on top and a little concave towards the center. Indigo milk caps often have rings on their cap, which we'll add using the ice blocks from before. Now this gorgeous mushroom is finished. We now have five gorgeous custom real world mushrooms built in Minecraft. You can build any of these in survival mode fairly easily with minimal resources required. Consider trying these out for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and comment to let me know what you thought of these mushrooms. If you really like the video, consider subscribing. I put out videos just like this as I finish making them. This has been Diggity Dan K, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.